I'm excited. Are you excited? I am ready for an afternoon of thrifting and I'm hoping for some good furniture finds. Hi, I'm Christy with Lucky Furniture and Design Co. And I am a vintage reseller. I also refinish vintage furniture and I'm just a vintage furniture lover. And I'm always looking for things for my 1902 home that I just purchased about a year ago. So today we are going to hit up, I think at least four spots locally. Um, some you've heard of, some are local little uh, divey spots that uh, might have some treasures, you never know. So let's go see what we can find. Here we are. Look, there's a sign that says 50% off everything. Yes. This looks nice. 40 bucks. I think everything is 50% off, so it would be two No dovetail. Pretty smelly. But definitely really cute. I could put wallpaper or gift wrap on the front, is what I'm always thinking with black front. Set 50 bucks metal. Not bad. Mm. I do like this table. And the cane is in good shape. It's 10 bucks, which means I think it's five bucks after the discount. Normally, I used to be able to sell this. But now, I probably wouldn't. It would just sit for a long time. So I'm going to pass on that. Even though it's only five bucks, I got to pass. The table is nice. And then, chairs. Not seeing anything immediately. Hmm, screen is cool. Not totally sure what's going on here. It must be like a coffee table footstool situation, but I like that fabric. It's sort of art deco. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm done here. Okay, we are at stop two. It's Habitat for Humanity. This is usually a good location. They still have decent prices which I can't say for some of the other habitats in the area. So let's go check it out. Let's go see what we can find. Uh, this is cool. So Anyone need a an antique body seat? Fifty percent. I saw these two square side tables and I liked them immediately. That first one gives off a little bit of an MCM vibe, and the second one has that really cool wood pattern on it. I'm assuming it's veneer. But still, to refinish that, sand that down, and restain it, it would be really pretty. The problem I ran into 
with that one is that it was just a little too wobbly and there were no screws. So I am not a um, wood tightening expert, so that was out. And then that one, I like it, but I didn't love, love it. And that's where I am these days. If I don't love it, then it stays at the store. This is a really pretty Lane Hope chest. And I am only thinking about it now but it would be beautiful if you added some long MCM legs to make it into more of like a credenza, a storage bench, maybe at the end of the, your bed. I think it would be so pretty and now I'm sad that I did not buy it. This is cute. Laminate, but still the cute, you know, the shape's cute. 60 bucks. It'd be cute in an empty way if you paint it. This is fun. Oak washstand with drawers, 25 bucks. Look at that. Kind of love that. Looks like Handmade dovetail drawers there, potentially. Very cool. But I don't have a use for it. I'm also, probably buying them. This is fun. These antique oak cabinets are having their moment right now, and this one was in decent shape. It has the nap joinery, which tells me it's maybe from the 1880s, 1890s, but the smell, the smell was overwhelming. I can kill some smell. I've dealt with some smells, but this one crossed the line and wasn't worth it, so I passed. Very fun. Pretty good for hundred bucks if you have the space. If you're looking for butcher block, you might check your local habitat. They always have these long slabs available and they usually have them in four or five different styles. They range from 170 to 300. Okay, so that was okay. There were definitely some interesting pieces in there and I really did like those side tables, those two side tables, one was 10, the other was 20. I just, I'm not an expert in tightening legs where I can't see the screws. Um, and I just, uh, I know that I would buy it and then it would sit there wobbly forever and then I would not work on it. So I let it go. Um, otherwise, I didn't see a whole lot. So we are going to move on to stop three. Please love these retro dressers. This one is a good price, 40 bucks. 
the key though is does it have dovetail dress uh, drawers and it does not so I just have to pass on it because I just the amount of work I put into it and the amount that I can sell it for just doesn't make sense it's cute though this could be cute for a desk in the nook area that I'm renovating at my house 80 is a little steep though for what I'm thinking I want to pay, especially because I want to paint it. So cute shape to think about that. I think the mirror comes with it though, which is interesting, but also not needed. So I didn't think about it. Very cool table with matching buffet, hutch, and mirror. The table is $600. And the mirror is 300 Very cool. And also, I've never seen anything priced this high before. So it would take a complete refinishing job to do that. Table beat up, super beat up. Mirrors always fun to look for. Me look. That's nice. This is kind of fun. Three. These chairs look interesting. Caning is nice. Or the rattan, I should say. Not the caning, the rattan. There's no price, of course. Just recover the seats and they would be really pretty. I need to find out how much they are. Psych! They are not sturdy. Not sturdy at all. That one's sturdier, but this one is not. So, pass. Fun to convert into little writing desks, but they don't sell. You can't sell them for a lot of money, so I don't do that anymore. We'll go check out the quote furniture showroom and then I think I've seen enough. They have the garden stuff back there. I did find a push mower, real push mower back there for 10 bucks. Okay, so that was interesting because I don't usually find anything there. I keep going though because one time months ago in the sold section, there was a Broyhill credenza that they had sold for 150 bucks. And I knew that I had just missed it. So I was like, oh my God. So that has kept me going for months. Maybe, gosh, it might even be over a year. Um, 
it keeps me coming here just in case, right? Just in case the there's a steel deal, seal, seal of a deal. Uh, we are going to go next to another habitat for humanity. So let's uh, cross our fingers. Maybe it will be a hit. Let's check out. Nothing so far. Hmm, I saw this last week. It's 100 bucks. Campaign with cane and wood. Pretty nice. I think uh, it's 25% off, so it would be 75 bucks. It's a great deal. Ooh, I see a cute vanity coming up. 130 bucks. It's got a mirror, which I think is intact. It's got the Art Deco style, which I do love. No dovetail. I do love those handles though, and that bow wood. It would be so pretty refinished. And look, it's got this cute little door down here. This is like the best thing I've seen so far today that like I'm interested in. So we didn't find anything that really stood out and that was a must buy. I have to say my taste has become more discerning, especially because things are more expensive, but also I know I have a sense of how much time it takes to fix something, paint something, repair something, refinish something, and sometimes, and a lot of the times, it's just not worth all of the effort, especially if I'm trying to resell it. If I'm, if I want to keep it for my house, like it's a kind of a different story, right? And if I love it, I'm willing to do the work, then it's fine. But I do, you know, it is a business and yes i love saving old pieces but there is a line that you cross where you start losing money and it's just not worth it it's just not worth it to me and that took a few years to get to that point for me um yeah so uh no luck this time uh i'm really this is real life this is a real life uh thrifting day and sometimes you don't find anything doesn't mean there won't be a lot of gems next time. It's just that today was just, there were no winners for me. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you saw something in there that you think I should have bought, that you think I missed out on. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more DIYs, home renovations, and vintage furniture makeovers.